is sodium chloride, but okay. plain table salt. And then if they need any more, we can add in certain types of carbohydrates um, as well that will try and hold on to a little bit more or a little bit more hydration. So that will obviously sodium load them as well as uh, hydrating them to about 800 mils before the actual event begins. And uh, that's one aspect. The other one you mentioned there is sour foods, but the pickle juice in particular yeah. is the key thing that switches off the the neural pathways that can be causing cramp, right? Mm -hmm. Now, I've heard reports that's only temporary. Mm -hmm. You're not really solving the issue of the cramp, like where the cramp is coming from. It's just a, a temporary fix. And I think that's probably why they've called them cramp fix, but they are only temporary. And it, like I said, they're not really solving the issue itself. Um, but like things like, um, things like strength and conditioning, right? So when you're talking there about, uh, race efforts okay and doing them early in the season probably what you're trying to do there with your guys are like um stimulating the muscle so that it's um uh, really active right and it's doing as much power as it's going to be if you say move your bike position or you wear different shoes all of a sudden you're probably going to start using different little muscle groups that haven't been worked before and you put them into a race situation and they're the ones that might cramp up but if you throw in some strength and conditioning that targets all those things kind of on a regular basis and you do your foam rolling and you do your stretching then you're um you're working those muscles that can do a job and do it well and they're not going to be your debilitating factor when it comes to a race mm, i love that do you know are the car is the water that's retained by carb loading usable for hydration purposes absolutely yeah i mean you've got four grams so yeah four grams of water yeah. per every one gram of carbohydrate yeah, yeah absolutely if you went in glycogen depleted versus fully glycogen loaded you're going to have a lot more water at your disposal do you know what the stance is on those things? You mentioned potassium, magnesium, calcium. There are some drink mixes now that are only using like table salt because there's a study that shows that those extra things had no bearing on hydration. Do you agree with that? Or do you still think getting... Bearing on hydration, possibly. Maybe they don't have much bearing on hydration. However, like calcium and potassium are all part of the muscle contraction um and relaxation process mm -hmm. so if you're sweating out all your all your calcium and all of a sudden there's none left it's going to get leached from your bones so that's obviously not a good aspect so the calcium in there might be more beneficial for that aspect of mm -hmm. exercise versus the hydration aspect of exercise because I've switched off of drink mixes and I'm trying to think the one that I actually used to use did not even have potassium, magnesium, calcium. Um, and a lot of us are doing just pure table sugar and sea salt. And mm. so I'm wondering, do I need to supplement potassium, magnesium, calcium possibly in this well, mix? Well, sea salt sea salt isn't plain table salt remember that it might have some other electrolytes in there okay. as other minerals if you like yeah. um so it table salt is plain uh sodium chloride okay. whatever is in sea salt that's why like pink himalayan salt can be used as a replacement for electrolytes because it has other minerals oh so there use pink. Be, go pink well that's what i've recommended in the past yeah for like Sweet. a for for a kind of a make it yourself um yeah. energy drink which is like i mean i've soap. actually as i say this i've used pink probably half the time just because that's what i had at home so mm. oh, it's nice as well i like the taste of it um but like i i don't use i add my own electrolytes basically to everything that i have because and what do you use i just use the bulk powders uh plain electrolyte mix it's it is all for them though mm. and uh but in the right quantities because it's based on the sweat you rate. Email me a link to that so we can post it in the oh, show. Notes. For sure, yeah. yeah. Um it's it's based on the sweat concentration of those minerals, of those electrolytes. So that's what it's trying to replace. And that's obviously well, it's not obviously, but that probably where the data that they put into that development came from. Um but yeah, I mean sea salt 
and uh, and pink Himalayan salt, they do contain other minerals anyway. So um, that's all good. This has been awesome. I want to respect the time that you have. I'm wondering, we had some other ones, topics of like getting to the end of longer races with gas in the tank, going through stage races, um, <laughs> supplements, and there's a lot of things that we could talk about. Would you want to do another podcast in like a month or? Do I have to... a feeling, Brendan, if I start talking about supplements, I won't be able to stop talking. And I, do I know need to stop talking. <laughs> can so, we do, yeah. a, can we do a part two? Think... And actually what I'd love to do in here and say, Hey, people email me or cause people are going to love this podcast. 